Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video is on Remdesivir versus placebo in adults with severe COVID-19. Remdesivir. Remdesivir, also known as GS5734, is a monophosphoramidate prodrug of an adenosine analog that has a broad antiviral spectrum which includes filovirus, paramyxovirus, pneumovirus, and the coronavirus. It is available in IV form. These are the various in vitro trials which have shown the utility of this particular drug in all these viruses. More specifically, it has been used in MERS disease as well as Ebola. The methods of this study. It was an investigator initiated multicentric in the 10 hospitals of the Wuhan city. It was a double blind placebo controlled randomized controlled trial so let's see what are the inclusion criteria of this particular study it included both male and female those who are adult aged more than 18 years they had rt pcr positive sars cov 2 that is the covid 19 infection and they had pneumonia which was diagnosed by chest x ray and pf ratio if the pf ratio is less than 300 and there was infiltrates on x-ray they were included so what are the exclusion criteria? pregnant and breastfeeding ladies patients with liver cirrhosis kidney disorders requiring dialysis and patients who were enrolled in other trials with covid 19 treatment eligible patients were randomly assigned two is to one to either the ramsetivir or the placebo group randomization was stratified according to the oxygen support the first was no oxygen, the second was high flow or non-invasive or invasive ventilation. They were divided into permitted blocks of 30 each. The patients received either IV remsedivir 200 mg on day 1 followed by 100 mg day 2 to day 10, single dose or same volumes of placebo. The primary clinical endpoint was time to clinical improvement within 28 days after randomization. Clinical improvement was defined as a two-point reduction in patient's admission status on a six-point ordinal scale. So let's see what were the results of this trial. 255 patients were screened, out of which 237 were enrolled, 158 into the Ramsetivir group, 79 into the placebo group, one patient in the placebo group reduced the consent, so 78 were included for intention to treat analysis. Three did not start any treatment with Ramsetivir, so 155 ultimately received treatment in the Ramsetivir group and 78 received the placebo treatment. Five patients in the Ramsetivir group received the treatment for less than five days and two patients in the placebo group received the treatment for less than five days. So ultimately 150 and 76 were included for per protocol analysis. The viral shedding was same in both the groups irrespective of whether the patient received the drug early or late. In terms of primary outcome also, there was no difference between the two groups. The Clinical improvement was same irrespective of whether the patient received ramsedivir or the control group treatment. So what were the limitations of this trial? It had insufficient power to analyze the primary outcome. There was use of steroid in both the groups. This could have affected the viral shedding. Lopinavir was used in both the groups. This could have affected the outcome. Less ventilated days were seen in the treatment group, though we cannot conclude based on the small sample size. So what was the author's conclusion? They concluded that Ramsedivir was not associated with statistically significant clinical benefits. However, the numerical reduction in the time to clinical improvement in those treated earlier requires further studies confirmation. So what is our take? The study was too underpart for any meaningful conclusion. There were a very small number of patients. The primary outcome is of questionable utility as this clinical improvement of two points is very difficult to have practical sense of it. And some clinical benefits were seen especially in terms of the ventilator free days. We still wait for the publication of the NIH trial which had a much larger sample size which was better part 
and this study apparently shows a 3% mortality benefit. So thank you for your patience and check our website for further information.